Hello and welcome to this video that you have clicked on. It does look a little bit different. I just really feel like standing at the moment, so change the angle of this, these videos. This is my monthly wrap up for the month of November. November happened, it came, it went, it was okay. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about just things. We usually always start these videos off with my favorite memories of the month. I do not have a lot of favorite memories because I didn't do a whole lot. The first one is November 11th. <laughs> Uh, my roommate and I, we went to a museum. I forget what the museum is called, but we went to a museum and there was a lot of like modern artwork and that was essentially it. We got some good Instagram photos, although I never actually posted them on Instagram now that I think about it. I'm gonna have to do that. But it was really great. This picture right here is probably my favorite of the day. But it was just a really great day. We were there and then after that we went to a like coffee place called Bricks and Scones. It was really cool but also really packed. Lots of people like to go there. And we sat down and started writing a book. So my roommate and Brain and I are writing a book right now. It is a cheesy Christmas novel. Who knows if it'll actually get published or anything will happen with it. I hope so. Um, but we will see. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you anything else about the book. Another favorite moment is Black Friday. It was the first year I didn't work Black Friday. So I was like, I actually get to shop on Black Friday. I actually get to experience it like how everyone else experiences it instead of dealing with these people. It's not something I think I want to do again. I thought maybe on the other side of things I would enjoy it. It was okay. There were a few sales. I didn't really get a whole lot. I tried to just get stuff for other people, but I ended up getting some things for myself. I, I swear, I can't go shopping or else I will buy things for me. Again, that was a day spent with Ambreen. <laughs> we did the shopping together. And then my last favorite memory of this month, I have no pictures from this whatsoever. Uh, it was on November 30th, the last day of the month. Uh, two friends of mine, Tate and Autumn, they got an apartment together. They're also engaged, so congrats, guys. And they were having a little like apartment warming party. So I went to that and I got to see a few people from college that I knew, so, and meet some new friends. I also baked cookies at like 1 a.m. at the party. <laughs> it was a great, lovely time. And it was a very like adult party too. I was like, there's mulled wine. Like, they, like, made mulled wine. We had some, like, background stuff going on on a projector. Like, it was just, it was very lovely, very quaint and nice, and I, I had a fun time. That was pretty much it. Now let's move on to favorite things. I actually do have quite a bit of favorite things. The first favorite thing being Bath & Body Works candles. I do love candles, but for some reason in the month of November, I got a little bit more obsessed with candles. So now I own 13 candles in my apartment. They're all spread out, but I love candles. And Bath & Body Works has a lot of really great ones. And they were also having a sale. They had their candle day. I was not gonna pass up the candle day. So I got a bunch of really great scents. My favorites were definitely Sweater Weather, which I have downstairs, and I actually have two of those. And then another favorite of mine is actually right here. And this is one where it came out in 2013, and it was my favorite scent of a candle of life. Still to this day, it is my favorite scented scent of a candle. Um, and so when I saw on Candle Day that Bath & Body Works I got it back because I hadn't seen it in store in a couple of years, I was so excited and that is Boathouse Row. So I definitely recommend getting Boathouse Row. I also recommend getting Sweater Weather. I don't have it lit right now. I have a, a Michael's candle lit. This is the Vanilla Pumpkin. Anyway, yeah, so I have lots of candles and I'm really excited about every single one of them. Another favorite thing are cheesy Christmas rom-coms. I've been obsessed with watching Hallmark um, and I wanna get to Lifetime's Christmas movies too. So hopefully I can do that. I'm trying to like, because I can't watch them online, I have to like watch them when they are airing on TV, so it's always kind of hard to schedule my life around. 
the <laughs> Hallmark schedule, but I try my best to. In my movie wrap up video, I kind of review some of the ones that I watched in November. So definitely go check that out if you are interested in Christmas movies. I have some of them in my movie wrap up. <laughs> and then my last favorite thing is my favorite thing around this time of year, every year, and that is the eggnog latte at Starbucks. This year, because I work at Starbucks, I was able to um, experiment with the eggnog lattes. So I found the best and the worst flavors to mix with um, eggnog latte. So the worst flavors, so do not do this whatsoever, white mocha, cinnamon dolce, and chai. Um, although for some reason my friend likes the chai with the eggnog latte, I found it disgusting. Um, so those are the worst flavors in my opinion, and then the best flavors are in order from three to one. So three is vanilla, two is gingerbread, and number one is chestnut praline. Seriously, get either one of those three with an eggnog latte and you will not regret it. So those are all of my favorite things. Definitely check out those eggnog lattes though, like they're to die for, and I'm going to be so upset when they are gone. Now let's move on to TV shows. I do have quite amount, quite a good amount of TV shows to talk about. I finally started a few more um, new TV shows, um, and I also kind of stopped watching a couple of TV shows, and I just want to talk about some of them. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Charmed. I started watching that this month, and I feel okay about it. I was not expecting a lot, but I definitely got more than what I was expecting, because I wasn't expecting much, but it's not great and I'm not loving it, but I'm enjoying it, and until I stop enjoying it, then I'll keep watching it. So, so far I haven't stopped enjoying it, so I'm going to keep watching it. I also started watching this new season of Arrow, which is the seventh season. I am liking this one better than the past two seasons because I just feel like the show has been going downhill but finally I feel like we're going back up. I'm really liking the season. Then I also started The Flash um, season five. I started watching that again. This is one of like my favorite TV shows. I love the show and so far this one is doing really well. I like that we have met um, Barry Allen and Iris West's uh, daughter and I'm liking the villain this season too, Cicada. I'm not liking uh, Sherlock Holmes. I find him super annoying. I will say, I feel like I want a little bit more Joe West in this season. I feel like he's been barely in it. Sisko's also been barely in the season, and Sisko's my favorite character. It's not as great as the other seasons, but I still really love the show. I just want more from the characters that I love. The next one I want to talk about is The Kids Are Alright. I watched the first three episodes, and then I stopped watching it because I wasn't actually enjoying it. <laughs> Like, it was okay, but I just was at a point where I was like, why am I watching this? I don't look forward to watching it. I don't care about it. So I stopped it. The next one is Splitting Up Together. Season 2 has started, so I started watching that. And this one, again, this is like one of those shows I just don't know what to think. I'm like, I don't know if I like it, but I also don't think I hate it. Like, I just, I'm somewhere in between, which I think is why I keep watching it, because I feel like maybe the more I watch it, I will finally come up with a decision on how I feel about it, but no, I still, I have no idea if I like it or if I hate it, but I'm gonna keep watching it, and I still have been continuing to watch it. I also started The Goldberg season six. I think this is the sixth season that has started, and as always, I love this show. I think this is really great. This season, I feel like, is not as great as its first three seasons. And I also started Legacies. I've only watched the first two episodes, um, and I haven't really come up with quite a conclusion on how I feel about this show because I'm kind of liking it, but I also don't care that much. But I'm going to keep watching it until I come up with my decision on how I feel about it. Then I also started Crazy Ex-Girlfriend Season 4, and I'm loving it, of course. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is just a really great show in general. Highly recommend watching it. I've, I've been recommending this show for... Like, since season one, I've been recommending this show. And if you haven't watched it since, I feel very disappointed. I am very disappointed in you. And then I also started season two of Midnight Texas. 
and I'm really enjoying it. I forgot how much I enjoyed the first season and then I started watching the second season. I was like, that's right, I really like this show. I like the show a lot. Got lots of supernatural stuff in this one. And then there's three more shows I wanna talk about and these are Netflix shows that I have watched and completed. The first one is Schitt's Creek season four. I watched this actually in one sitting, which was very surprising because I never do that, but I was able to do it just really quickly. And I enjoyed this season. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as the past couple of seasons but I still really love this show a lot and season four was really great because it finally came out on Netflix and they're getting a season five so I'm very excited to hear about that and I can't wait for season five to eventually come to Netflix so I can watch it. <laughs> the other show is The World's Most Extraordinary Home season two. I love this show so much. I've never loved a, a home show as much as I love this one. Like this is just a show about homes and architecture and it doesn't ever sound like something I'd really be loving but I love it and I really want there to be a season three. I haven't really done any research or digging to see if there is a season three but hopefully there will be because I really love the show and I love the hosts of this show as well. And then the last show I want to talk about is American Vandal season two. I finally watched American Vandal season two and it wasn't as great as season one but it was still really really good. I loved this so much and I liked how with this season the ending we actually got an answer because the ending of the first season it was just like theories of who you think it is but like this one we got a clear definite answer as to who it was um, and who was doing this and this was so great and again this is a, a season where at the end of every episode I was just like next episode get another show I watched within one sitting because I had to I wasn't planning on sitting in one sitting to watch the entire season but at the end of every episode I had to watch the next episode and they always kept like changing who you think it is at the end of every episode too so you really were clueless as to like who did it and oh it was just really fantastic. I love this show a lot and I really hope there's a season three. Hi guys, editing Ellen here. I have completely forgotten to add the bullet journal to this video. I usually like to show you guys what my bullet journal looks like for the month and again I completely forgot to show that. So I'm going to show it to you now in a very lazy way. I usually kind of have a setup for that, but I am editing and I'm lazy right now, so I'm just gonna do a little lazy showing of my bullet journal for the month of November, so let's go check it out. Okay, so my theme was leaves, so I just did a lot of um, leaves and trees with leaves falling off them. Um, so. As always, uh, we have a quote on this page, and I really liked this quote a lot. It says, what if trees refuse to let go of their dying leaves? Letting go lets us grow. I really, truly loved that. And then, of course, I have a tree with leaves falling off it and my period tracker um, and some scarves. And I really enjoyed these stickers. These are actually, like, my favorite stickers that I have had in this bullet journal. And then we have my book wrap-up, as always. Uh, so books I wanted to read. Books I wanted to buy, other books I read, other books I bought, and uh, the books I read with their star rating. Then we have my movie wrap up. So these are the movies I wanted to watch, uh, movies I wanted to buy, other movies I watched, other movies I bought, and then the movies I watched with their star rating. And then of course we have the notes on the books and the movies. So that's what that all looks like. And then we have the TV shows, favorite things, and favorite song, which you have seen. In this video, favorite song is coming up, so wait for that. And then we have the habit tracker. As always, it looks pretty empty. I never seem to do anything that I want to do. Um, and then we have a mood tracker here. I, this is probably one of my favorite mood trackers. I really liked coloring in the leaves every day. So then uh, we always end it with uh, my favorite memories, so it's kind of like the diary section. So this was the museum day. And then I needed a place to put Christmas presents. We can actually cover that up in case people are watching. I don't want people to know what they're getting. But it's helped me check off uh, people's gifts and making sure I got everyone. Um, and then we have the Black Friday shopping and the party. So that is my bullet journal for 
November. Okay, now we're on to the end of this video where I talk about my favorite song of the month. And my favorite song of the month is Without Me by Halsey. I like some of Halsey's music. I'm not a huge fan of hers, but there have been some songs that I really like of hers, and this is probably my favorite of hers so far. I've been listening to this on the radio, and whenever I've been on Spotify, I've been making sure this song is in my playlist somewhere, and I listen to it, because I really love this song. So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, definitely go check out my reading wrap up and my movie wrap up for the months of November as well. And I will see you guys later with more videos. So, bye.